Hey, it's Mr. Knowles here. Have you ever had trouble finding good resources? If you Google just about anything for historical research, uh, the first few items that show up are generally going to be encyclopedias, videos, and ads. But if you want something more, something a little more detailed, something a little more depth, it's not too hard to find. Let me show you how. I've just Googled Protestant Reformation, and my search results show me the very first item, which is Wikipedia. This is typically the first uh, first item that will come up. Now, there's not anything wrong with Wikipedia, but you might want to go beyond that. We're going to come back to it here in a few minutes, and I'll show you how it can help you find better sources, too. Then you'll generally have some videos, which are great for getting some background information, but it's pretty hard to take notes from videos, and then images, hard to do there as well. And now if we look down the page, we've got something from history.com. Uh, We've got Britannica, which is an encyclopedia. We've got uh, another encyclopedia. We've got a place called gotquestions.org, which is generally a question-answer site. You've got another pedia, Theopedia, which has to do with religions. And um, then a few more. We're still sort of in the encyclopedia realm. And then pretty soon we get into where they have ads. So, Nothing on that first page really grabs me and says, boy, this is where I want to go. This is what I want to look at. So what I might want to do, almost as a matter of of uh, standard practice, is go to the second page. You can have Wikipedia again. You can have some other ones. But then you might start getting into some other ones, too. Um, now, um, some of these might be good to work with. Here's one called ThoughtCo. I think it was on the previous page, too. Um, totally history. This is a very broad topic, so you tend to get very broad results. If you wanted to look for something a little more detailed, you might get something a little more detailed in your results as well. But if we want to get past the basic uh, encyclopedia approach, um, this might be one to look at. One of the things about ThoughtCo um, is that they generally give you an author, and what's nice about that is you can find out who your author is, in this case, pretty easily. Uh, who it is, what's their background, should you believe them, anything. Um, so that's nice. And sometimes you get a little bit more depth to it than you do from just a regular encyclopedia article. Um, I do want to go back to the Wikipedia one, though, to show you how you might use that to help further your research. So I'm going to go to the Reformation page on Wikipedia, which has lots of information. Um, however, it sometimes uh, doesn't quite give you the depth you want, but if you go down to the bottom of any Wikipedia page, then you could use the, uh, the links at the top to get there faster, because this is a long page. If you go to the bottom of any Wikipedia page, you're going to find references. Now, these references are the different sources that were used by all the people who wrote all those things on the Wikipedia page to demonstrate that they weren't just making it up. These are their sources. And any of these might be interesting to look at if you're looking for something with a little bit more depth. Um, and so if you come to the bottom of any Wikipedia page, you can find some good links here if you want to get into a little bit more uh, detail. And uh, this isn't really what I'm looking for, but let's just say uh, I'm looking at economics. So this economic analysis of the Protestant Reformation is maybe more than I want to read, but it's there. It's a good way to find, especially if you're digging really deep into a topic. Now, also behind that, at the bottom of that page, below all the references, is also a bibliography and information for um, further reading. Now, not all of these are online, but a lot of them are. And so if you wanted to take a look at different sorts of depth, uh, in-depth articles, you could find them here. There's actually quite a bit on this page um, to take you to different sources that might give you more information.